Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Rich Queen. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that anytime I share a video, you will be the first to receive. Remember in our last video, I took you through how to use the differentiation rule to find the derivative for the gradient function of the curve. If you have no other video, I beg you, please go to YouTube, search Rich Brain and watch the video on it. But if you did, try and pause the video and see if you can find the derivative or the gradient function for the, on the, of the curve on the board. Now come with me. Convey answers to man. Remember we said to find the derivative of this curve. You will let the exponent multiply the coefficient of the variable. So 3 multiplied by that becomes 15 and subtract 1 from the exponent. That's 2. Then you let 2 multiply the 4, that's 8. Subtract 1 from the exponent. That becomes 1. And remember, the differentiation of a linear term is the coefficient of the variable. And the differentiation of the constant is always zero. I hope you got it correct. If you didn't, please try and go over the video one more time so that you can understand this. Okay, so today we'll be discussing change rule. Change rule. Please, there is nothing change about it. It's just a simple rule in calculus that we, we use to find the derivative of a function of this nature. Now, remember in our last video, we said that to find the derivative of a function, drop the power and subtract one from the exponent. If you want to use that idea to find the derivative of this function, you will not be able to get the answer correct. There is a way of doing it. However, a simple way of finding the derivative or the gradient function to this case is using chain rule. And what, that, what does that chain rule mean? Chain rule simply means let a variable, any variable, to be equal to the base, this base. Let any variable to be equal to it. However, people always use a variable u. So, Let's also use let u to be equal to the base. The base is the 5x squared plus time. So you let u to be equal to that. Then this will bring our question to the form y equal to u exponent 4. That's in the place of 5x squared plus 3, we put our u here. Then now we have two equations on the board. So you differentiate each of these equations with respect to their individual independent variables. So for example, the first one, u equal to 5x squared plus 3. To find a derivative, remember, du over dx. This will be drop to multiply that becomes 10x. Subtract 1 from the exponent is 1. And the differentiation of the, of the constant is 0. Uh, then, our y is also equal to u exponent 4. To find the derivative here, that's dy over du. We drop the power 4, subtract 1 from the exponent, that becomes 3. Then, chain rule is saying that dy over ds, that's the gradient function of this curve, will be the product of these two. These two derivatives. That is the u over dx times dy over du. Look at it. du, we we'll deal with du, then we have our dy over dx back. That's why the chain rule is very powerful. Now, come with me. What's our du over dx? Our du over dx is 10x. And what's our dy over d? Our dy over d is 4u exponent 3. Now I'll multiply this. 4 can multiply 10x. We we'll have 40x, then u exponent 3. However, there is no u in our ratio. 
our initial question gave to us. So we need to replace it because we say you should be equal to something. So our dy over dx will be equal to 40x. Then in place of u, we put our 5x squared plus 3 x to the 3. Then this function becomes a gradient function of this curve, or the derivative of that curve. Okay, there is another example on the board. So someone who doesn't go to you will try to expand 2x plus 7, 2x plus 7, 2x plus 7, 7 times. <laughs> Before you finish expanding, then you have exhausted your time. So that's the, the good aspect of the chain rule. Let you to be equal to the base. And what is the base in this case? Oh, 2x plus 7. You are right. That's good. So let u to be equal to 2x plus the 7. Then our question can be rewritten as u equal to y equal to u exponent. Then what we do? We differentiate these two equations with respect to their individual independent variables. So u equals to 2x plus 7 to find the derivative that u over dx. This will be equal to 2. Remember the differentiation of the linear and the coefficient of the variable. And the differentiation of the constant is 0. Then, our y is also equal to u exponent 7. To find the derivative then, that's dy over du. Remember to draw so 7 u subtract 1 from the exponent, that's 6. Now, how do we do that? To find dy over dx, still we will say that dy over dx is the product of the two derivatives. That's du over dx times dy over du. What's our du over dx? It's 2 times what's our dy over du? It's 7u exponent 6. Now we can multiply 2 by 7, that becomes 40u exponent 6. However, u is not given in the initial uh, curve. So what we do? We say let u to be equal to something. So we replace it. So our dy over dx will equal to, in the place of u, we put 2x plus 7 exponent 6. Then this becomes the gradient function of this thing, or the derivative of this thing. Thank you. And I'll put one more question on the board. Try to solve it. And remember to leave your answer in my comment box. Share with me. And remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. So that anytime I share with you, you'll be the first to receive it. Bye-bye.